rock stars, Eric Andres, your guitar sage, today with the three most important ninja-like techniques that you can use to sharpen your strumming, okay? So if you have issues with strumming, I promise you each one of these things are going to help you, okay? So here we go. So the first and easiest bit is getting a pick that's thin enough, okay? Let's talk about this for a minute and why this is helpful. When we're doing more electric style single notes, maybe double stops or more intricate type of picking, it's best to have a thicker pick. And the reason that that is, is we don't want there to be any give. We don't want there to be any play, any fluctuations between how our pick is. So if we hit it hard and it moves too much, we don't want that when we're picking individual notes. We want to be very precise. It's also not really needed since we're just hitting one note. But when we go to hit several strings at a time, it's kind of like combing your hair. If you've got a few strands, you know, you could probably use a comb. But if you have a lot of hair, very the thicker the hair is, you know, very bushy hair, if you're taking a brush to it with hard bristles, you're going to be going through knots and, and breaking your hair. So it's best to have a brush with thinner bristles so that when you, if it hits a knot, it will pass by. Same thing, same exact concept when it comes to picking guitar, picking the guitar. So for instance, let's take a metal pick in this case here that doesn't give hardly at all, you know? And you may not be able to hear it as much or see it, but the thick pick doesn't, it doesn't bend, you know? Whereas this nice thin pick does bend and so that when I, go across all the strings, it makes it so much easier, okay? And it's much more forgiving. It's not a cop out, it's not a crutch, it's just the way to do it, okay? So you can use a, th a thick pick all day long, there's no advantage to it. In fact, you're gonna have a darker sound when strumming. Typically, you want a brighter sound. So get a, thin, a thinner pick. In this case here, um, this is a brain pick, that's the name brand, brain pick. They don't pay me to say that, I just, and this is a 0.6, uh, 0.6, millimeters, I think that's how they measure it, 0.6. But you'll see that, you know, like something that's a one and a half, 1.5 is going to be a very thick pick. So 0.6 for me, the purple picks are great, love them. They also have some green ones that are around the same, maybe maybe a little bit thinner, uh, and those are nice too. But I like the, the 0.6, it's just perfect for, for this nice big strumming, okay? So brain picks, they even have a little bit of grip on it. So that's number one, that's the first thing that you could do. Okay, um, number two, understanding how to count, okay? Now, what I mean by that is a lot of times on YouTube, I see a lot of people taking shortcuts. I get it, it's the interwebs and you're just trying to play the song. I get that, but if we wanna get up to other levels, more pro levels, you've gotta learn how to count properly. And so saying down, down, up, up, down, up, is not it's only half the information because actually it's not telling us when to do that. Okay, it's just telling us to do that. And that written down, that wouldn't make any sense. Okay, if I say it while I'm strumming it, it may make sense because you have the visual to go along with it. You gotta learn how to count. So what I mean by that is if we're strumming like one and two and three and four and, then the strumming rhythm that I just did would sound like one, two and, and four and. Okay, now that's over your head. It's only because you haven't learned it. You're not dumb or anything like that. You just haven't learned it yet, okay? So, you gotta learn that. How are you gonna learn that? I have plenty of videos on, on this. Uh, the best one can be found in the free series you'll find below. There's a link for it, yourguitarsage.com slash 30. It's the strumming video. And this, one, two, and, and four, and, is the last exercise in the whole battery. There's five levels of strumming that I slowly ramp you up. Easy stuff at first, and then slowly get you to do harder strums, okay? That's how you wanna learn. You don't go to, to ninth grade before you go to eighth grade and seventh grade and what have you before then. You gotta go in series. You can feel that forward momentum, okay? So do that, check that out. Uh, I believe it's you know in the, maybe the seventh video or something in the series, the top 30 lessons I teach all my students. Watch that, okay? So that's number three. Number four is to practice slowly without chords. Okay, so if you're learning a song from me, and I say, well, the rhythm is one, two, and, and four, and, and you're like, I know what that means because I watched Eric's free series, bam, then you can practice this. What a lot of times people do is they'll bring in the chords and the singing right away, and they're wondering why they're having a problem with strumming, okay? Well, 
If you've heard my analogies before, the juggling unicyclist on a tightrope didn't learn all those. He didn't just get up on a tightrope and juggle and, on the unicycle at the same time. He learned all those things separately then brought them together. You got to do the same thing when you're practicing. So in this case here, take the chords out, take the singing out, and just do the strum. Take your fretting hand, lay it on the strings as light as a feather so that you get that nice percussive sound and practice the way you learned in the free course. So one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and. And practice it slowly. One, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four. And. Why do that? Because that's the only way our brains learn is to take that information in and for it to make sense. See what happens a lot of times, so many times, Anytime I get a complaint from somebody who's trying to learn guitar, it always comes down to, always, 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 that they're trying to learn things too fast. They're not breaking it down enough, slowing it down enough. So be content in this learning slowly, because by learning slowly, you're learning fast. Because if it's not happening the other way, by you trying to do it fast, you're not learning. So it's worthless, okay? Learn it slow, learn it sure, and you're going to get this. So get that thin pick. All right, watch the free series, yourguitarsage.com slash 30, the link for that's below. Watch the series, especially the bit on strumming, and there's other videos in there on strumming to help you with other issues, that I, stuff I hadn't even mentioned here today. So watch that. And lastly, practice slowly with a nice muted string, you know, with the strings muted. This way you can, you're only concentrating on your strumming hand, and if you do this slow enough, you're gonna get it, I promise. Once you can do it slow, you can do it faster. Okay, my friends? That is literally the top three things that you could be doing to improve your strumming. There's other things, I and mean, I got videos for them here on YouTube, Your Guitar Sage Strum, just look that up, but those are the top three things that are gonna get you as quickly as you can get to becoming a great strummer. All right, my friends, does that help? If it does, hit thumbs up, and let me give you some karma right now for doing that. There you go. Seriously, hit that thumbs up. That helps me make other videos. Leave your comments below. I want to help you to learn how to play guitar. And that interaction with you is going to help. So I read these comments and that would help me help you to learn guitar. My friends, I'm on Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat and all those places. I want to help you out. Please hit me up there. Facebook.com slash live is where I do my live stuff. I get thousands of dollars of goodies away all the time. A uh, free ebook at yourguitarstage.com. Most important, you can draw anything, even ev everything that I talked about. One important thing here, two important things. Uh, one is going to be my sign off, but number two is to watch that free series. I'm telling you, don't leave money on the table. Watch that free series or visit me here in Nashville. It'll cost about 900 bucks in about 30 weeks to do that. So, your choice, my friends. Do it. Um, as always, friends. Be kind to all beings. That's the number one thing. Be kind to all beings. Don't trust the man. Practice that guitar. I'll see you in the next video.